friends, Coach Vanjie here. Let's do a daily stretch together. This you can do every single day. Start with some big shoulder rolls. This makes for a great work break or after a walk before, or if you just want to loosen up the day. Good, a couple big shoulder rolls. From here, you're gonna just open your arms wide. Great way to stretch out. Get the blood flowing if you're feeling cold. Good, take those feet wide apart. Hips, knees, and toes are gonna to point straight forward, and you're gonna sit your bum back, bend one knee, side lunge. Just gently start to go from side to side. Good, breathing. Stretching out that inner thigh. Last four, three, Excellent. Still staying in this position, you're going to take one foot and you're going to turn your toe. From here, you're going to roll those shoulders down and back. Take your arms out like you're surfing on a surfboard. And you're going to bend that front knee. Now, we want to watch that that front knee doesn't go past your front toe. So adjust your stance so that it stays stacked over that heel. Good. So you're just starting to press into that front knee a little bit. Good. From here, this time we're going to pause. You're going to straighten. And then you're going to reach back. Get a nice big stretch through that hip. Arms back out, you're gonna bend, straighten, reach back. Bend, straighten, reach back. Let's do five more. Five. Good. Four. Great for the legs. Great for the lower back here. Opening those shoulders. Last two. Amazing. Take those legs, shake them out for a moment, readjust your stance. We're going to go the other way. Start with your feet square, turn the other toe out, arms out, shoulders down, bend that front knee. Again, watching that we're not going past that toe. Good. This time you're going to pause, pause, straighten, reach it back. Bend, straighten, reach it back. Let's do five more. Here we go. For five. Breathe. Four. Three. Last two. One more. Amazing. Beautiful. All right, from here, you're going to take your feet about hip width apart. All right, you're gonna roll those shoulders down and back. You're gonna take your hands, kind of put them in front of you. You're gonna hinge at the waist. You're gonna squat down and then straighten back up again. Great for opening up those hamstrings. So hinge at the waist, squat down, and then straighten back up. This is called a king squat. Good, hinge, drop your rear end, the knees apart. Take your time here, we're gonna do about another 10 seconds or so. Just working at your pace. It's okay if you don't go as low as I do. Just do you. And then hinge, squat it down. Try not to move the pose. Good, well, let's do one last one here. Hinge, squat. Beautiful, roll it up. Shake it off. Amazing. From here, coming down, you're gonna hinge again. Tuck your fingers under your toes. You're gonna drop your bum down like a big giant frog. This might be higher and that's okay. From here, you're gonna reach one arm up, return it in the other arm, return it, and then straighten the legs. Pull the bootstrapper. Let's do that again. Hinge down, touch your fingers under your toes. Drop down like a frog. Okay, we're reaching up, return, other hand, return, straighten the legs. Good. Let's do that two more times. Drop it down, bend it. And the other toes. Big giant dog. Reach up. Reach up. And straighten the legs. One last time, my friends. Good. Hinge down. Tuck the fingers. Drop the dam like a frog. Reach. And reach. Straighten the legs. Amazing. Roll it back. 
Good. Coming down into all fours, cat cow. Okay, you're gonna start with your hands on your shoulders, knees on the hips, arching it back up, dip down. Last one. Amazing. Shake your wrist out for a moment. Downward dog. You're going to plant your hands, dig your toes in, fire those hips back. You're going to press your chest towards your thighs. Pedal the heels here. Bend. Excellent. You're going to step one foot through. Your back knee can go down or it can stay up. Both hands come to the inside of your front foot. From here, you're gonna reach up. Come back down, return. Reach up. Return. Two more. Reach up. Return. Last one. Reach up. And return. Beautiful. Take that leg back, however gracefully you can do that. Sit back in a child's pose for a moment. I like to shimmy left and right a little bit here, just stretching through those shoulders. Good, let's go back into downward dog one more time here. Downward dog, pedal the heels. Step that opposite foot through this time. Okay, both hands on the inside of that front foot. Good, you're gonna reach up and return. And reach up and return two more. Again, your back knee can be up or down. Reach. Amazing. Back to downward dog, however gracefully you can get there. Paddle the heels. Good. We're going to come into pigeon, so you're going to flatten out. Bring your knee to your wrist. Knee to your wrist. I'm going to back over so you can see better. Okay. And you can stay upright. You can come down to a forearm. You can go right down if you like. Hold this for about 20 seconds. really good for the hips. I also like to kind of rock through my hips a little bit. It increases that stretch sometimes. Again, your knee is kind of where that planted hand was. You're sitting on it like a little bird, like a little pigeon. Good. Best way to get out of this is downward dog. Dig your back toe in. Fire back to downward dog. Pedal the heels for a second. Bring that opposite leg through this time. Knee towards your wrist. Okay, knee towards your wrist. Whew. Got too far forward there. Knee towards your wrist. Okay, kind of lengthen back. Good, kind of bringing that foot. The further you bring this foot forward, the more intense the stretch gets. You want to square your hips to the floor. Again, it can be hands, forearms, or head down. Hold for about 20 seconds. Like, hit repeat, and I'll see you next time. Bye.